Mina san konnichiwa, this is David. And Mina. And this afternoon we are doing a quick unboxing of the RG Gundam Astray Red Frame. Okay. This is um, a really lovely RG. The frame alone is like a selling point because it is a white and red version of the frame that we are used to from our RG line. Um, it has a nice pretty shiny sword and stuff like that. And then, you know, it's it's super posable. It's an RG. Um, I have high expectations for this because the MG version of the red frame is like one of my favorites. Um, it is super articulated and really they only have room to let me down. Uh, I can't imagine. Yeah, I can't imagine that they can do a lot with it to make it better than the MG red frame already. There's a couple of things I would like to see fixed, like the um, the side skirts. They're not really skirts. They're just like guards, but they're, they they fall off on the MG and they're annoying. Um, if they could fix that, I would basically, like that's the only thing I think that they can do. Uh, I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see. All right. So first off, our multicolor A runner here. This has got our beam sabers. It has um, our leg pieces, our side skirts, um, that sort of thing. Um, it has our green pieces here for the head um, and our red face piece. Um, nothing particularly special. This looks like a red frame astray. Um, I, the detail's nice. It is definitely better than the HG versions. I think it's about on par with the MG. Uh, maybe sands a few pieces as far as this goes. Yeah. Um, but that's pretty cool. Um, now we have our katana. Oh, that's actually really pretty. I'm I'm impressed. Uh, steal the katana for something else. No, I just uh, I know you can't steal some katanas. Oh, she's making a shitty reference to Bloodsport. That's terrible. Um, and if you're too young to have seen Bloodsport, go watch it now. It's the, the best and worst Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. That's weird. Okay, so this is strange. I don't... I, I can't, if anyone knows why this would be, just tell me. Uh, but... So I've never seen a runner like this. This runner has these two pegs on it which have pieces on it that are, like, hinged, basically, or jointed. Um... They don't really have a reason to be there that I can think of. Uh, maybe it's like a part of the production process, but I'm not sure. It's it's weird. They're very clean, and they are they are plated just like everything else, or sprayed. Um, the katana is not okay. So this is weird. This is weird. I don't and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on my camera here. Um, the katana is not the same color of silver as you're used to with the MGs. It is a little closer to a gunmetal, but not quite. It is still definitely a silver weapon. Um, also, you, there's no way you can see it on my, my camera here, but you can actually see the wavy line from the, um, from the honing of the sword, the folding, which is gorgeous. That is so cool. Um... That looks like one of my kitchen knives. Mm. This is beautiful. I'm really, really, really fond of that. But it's so subtle. It's like, it's barely pronounced. You have to be looking really careful. That's the kind of detail that I've come to expect from the RG line. But I, I wasn't really, I wasn't really holding my breath. That's really cool. I like that. Uh, that, that beats the MG version. There you go. Yeah, that does. Um, okay. Now we have our RG frame pieces. These are standard RG frame style, uh, which is to say that they come on the runner already assembled for the most part. You just have to like fold them into place. Yeah, these colors, they are lovely. This white is just really clean and the red goes really well with it. I was wondering how they were going to do it, but this frame looks gorgeous. It's really beautiful. It almost makes me want to get a second one so I can have one to not put the armor on. Like it's, it's beautiful. Then we have our sticker kit, our, our decal style stickers. Um, these are really pretty. Um, and I actually really like the designs on the, the red frame, like um, all of um, all of like the, the logo designators and stuff like that. I, I've always liked them, so that's you know a nice touch for me. The um, it's got nice red foil pieces for the frame. Um, it has all kinds of little tiny markings. This is actually 
one of the better RG sticker kits I've seen. I'm, I'm really fond of it. Um, those are those are great colors. Um, I'll definitely be using those. Okay. Next, we have our red standard panels. Um, we have our V fin, all of that. Um, this is a good color. Um, nothing spectacular, but it is a good color. I like it. Um, they feel nice and sturdy. Feels like an RG. And then we have shield pieces here. We have our pilot piece, which is actually really surprisingly detailed. Yeah. Um, he is particularly tall and um, slender, uh, which is, you know, really strange because these RGs have really, really, really tiny pilot pieces. Um, we have our sheath for our katana, all of that. Now, this is the... Um, this is a different color than the MG. These are, these two pieces, or four pieces, but they become two pieces, are um, are the waist, on the, on the, the side of the waist. Um, they're a sort of weird, almost tannish color. I don't know, a um, little like canvas color going on. Um, they're a little different than the MG. I've always thought that they stood out as strange on the design. It's one of the only places where I like I didn't really I don't really feel the way that they go together. So I don't know, but you can barely see them. So, but they're a different color. They are there. Now we have our gold pieces here. We have the um, hand guard here. We have the edge of the sheath, and we have um, the edge of the the handle for the the katana. Um, these actually, like, I don't know, these kind of look cheap. Um, I hate to say this, yeah. but they, they look like one of the ones that would come with, like, an SD kit, um, which is to say not very well injected. There's there's a lot of, like, sort of flowing in the plastic there. It's not awful. It's not going to detract from the final kit very much, but I do think it looks a little cheap. I think it, it looks like they cut a corner there. Um, and it's sad because, like... When, when the Bandai cuts corners on an RG, they stand out a whole bunch. Yeah. Okay. Then we have our dark red pieces here, our legs, all of that. Um, they look nice. And then we've got our black. Nice black. Um, I've got a little bit of warping on my shield. Um, it's not awful, but it's definitely some warping on the plastic. Um... I don't think it'll actually stand out in the final product, particularly since that's one of the places where I'll be putting a decal, I'm sure. Mm. Um, so, yeah. We have the scabbard for our katana. That's going to look a little... I don't know how that's going to work. and Maybe there's a decal for it or something, but there's a lot of detail on that plastic. And then we have our hand pieces that are not our RG-style hands. These are our use-it-if-you-hate-the-RG-style hand pieces, um, of which I tend to use a lot. And there you go. The one thing uh, uh, I'm kind of surprised is they just did the straight up RG because it's nowhere near as popular. It doesn't sell as well as the, R or the RG. The uh, when I say RG, I meant red frame, the straight up red frame. Um, the the straight up red frame doesn't do as better. Like you don't have as much attention to it as the the revised version of the um, the red frame that has like the tactical arms and all of that. Yeah. I imagine Bandai will be announcing a special Bandai P Bandai kit for it or something because that giant sword is like really popular. Um, and then we have our instructions. These are standard um, except they have lovely pink um, pictures in them um, to show you where the frame pieces are and everything like that. There you go. There is our, our RG red frame stray um, and our massive guide to putting on the stickers. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a cool one. Um, I'm gonna try to put this together and throw up a review of it as soon as I can. Um, I know I have a little bit of a queue right now, so let's see how that goes. Um, until then, matane everyone. <laughs>